Hey everybody, welcome back. It's two nights later. I feel bad. I haven't had a chance to check out the weekly. There have been, like, not to be rude to the developers. There have been bad weeklies where I've played, like, I don't know, recorded, like, 11 videos of the weekly. Then there's been this weekly, which has been a dream come true. This is, like, my third video, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles. Our daughter's been homesick from daycare. Her birthday's coming up. We got people coming in. I'm, I'm fitting in the videos where I can. It's only 7.37 p.m. You know what? C can you believe this is my first time taking a frilled dragon on this weekly? I am not 100% sold on the frilled dragon after it's nerfed to begin with. Let's be a smooth submarine. Maybe like a scuba Steve, if you will. Um, and I, it's well worth noting we're going to lose this round, but it's, it's fundamentally unfeasible to imagine winning when you have three total HP between all of your team members to begin with. But we're basically thinking about the levels that await us in the future. And like this is a, a good get for both the Frilled Dragons and for the horse. And then we'll, we'll toss this out on top as well. So we're going to have one, four, three. That's not something you could really hang your hat on <laughs> with two two twos as well, but it's uh, yeah, we're gonna lose this one. I mean, that, and that's a testament to how much the frilled dragon has been nerfed. I mean, you gotta really get it going. You probably need less frilled dragons and more faint triggers. But first two rounds, we don't really care. We take our level. That's a faint trigger. So I think we go yes, and I think we go yes, because that's also a faint trigger, and then we'll roll once. Um, and I'm not like that, like, invested in you or, like, whatever, because um, you're, like, you're a before faint. I can't remember if that counts, but I think it actually does. I think I would rather take a Flamingus out here, and then we'll, we'll talk about, like, what the world looks like after that fact. Um, and we could always pill, like, a spider, too. Now, I don't know about Flamingo behind Frill Dragon, but I wanted my strongest unit in the front. It should be a 10-10. A, a, a it's a 12-12. Oh, it worked even better than I thought it would. <laughs> okay. Um, get Soul Red. Wait, because... Yeah, no, wait. There's we, we got four triggers for 2-2 two, two each. Okay, so the, the Flamingo does count. Well, I would say for now, let's just embrace... Um, the, the stats of the Flamingo gain for us, you know, just in general. And then roll me. It's really tough for me not to just do that. I'm not worried about a Cricket. It doesn't scale that well. I'm still not worried about a Cricket. I, I still like what we got here. So you're going to be a 14-14. That's tough to deal with early on. Now, if anything could do it, uh, maybe like a Frilled Dragon. Or sorry, not a Frilled Dragon, but a, a, a Cat Team could do it. They're not even close to similar. In terms of the naming. I think we draw this, though. We need honey for our badger. I mean, that's a given. We also could get a level 3 frilled dragon, which is kind of... We, we did get a level 3 frilled dragon, in fact. I'm not fully sold on a porcupine. But I do think, even at the cost of one faint trigger, the stats are good enough to put it out there. And then... I mean, this is insanity. But that's kind of what I was hoping for. We'll get a level 2 Badger probably as early as the next round. It makes a big difference. You're a piece. <laughs> you countered me perfectly, but we're still going to win. You had just enough uh, attack to make the Porcupine uh, suffer, and that's okay. So I think you take it immediately like this. A Turtle is a faint trigger. I think you just set it up thusly. And honestly... Let me, let me think about this. We got three faint triggers... So you're a 16-16. I think we should stat you. The porcupine is just a farm one once. If it can if it continues to sorry, one for one, not one once. If it continues to one for one or even like one one for one with a little upside on the other end, then I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm very happy. And don't forget it, we got honey to put on the badger when we when we find the opportunity to do so. Um I would definitely say the porcupine, you're gone. The bison is like a gimme. Like a deer is really good. I think we could sell you and put a badger out there and just embrace that we do want um, the badger to have garlic. Sorry, not a badger, a buffalo to have garlic because we're gonna you're gonna scale very quickly. We're getting you at a reasonably early time frame. I think this is looking pretty solid, honestly. Not a guarantee, but uh, of ten wins, but. 
certainly we have like the frill dragon will stay relevant for a bit. The uh, the the bison is scaling. We got chocolate and blobfish in the pack, so like we we have some fairly logical ways to progress the team. More things that are useful, less things that are useless is always a bonus. Um, like pilling a turtle is is tempting. It does override a cucumber, but. It, 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 it is what it is. Um, I'm going to put just the... Two deers is also great, okay? But a, a, a level two deer is also great. Like, you can't really go wrong with a deer. They really broke the mold when they made that bad boy. Because he's like... Oh, you, you piece. Maybe maybe they, they broke my mold when they did that to me right there. Yeah, we're not making it through this. Or our... No. It was so close. Like, the deer is so well balanced. One deer does well, two deers go well, a level two deer does well. All sorts of good stuff. So sure, take, take melon. I'm willing to do that. Ideally, I'd like to see a faint trigger. I think it's a little too late for a, uh, a caterpillar to really, to really pop off. I'll take some stats. Can I try something weird on you? What if, what if we tried this instead? And it's a little... Strange, but sometimes strange can mix up the enemy team. So we don't really care if our badger kills a snail. It's kind of like that's the design. Um, it was supposed to do more damage to the bison. <laughs> Please garlic me, garlic me. Oh, okay, close. We had that was close to a win. Sell me. Obviously, this is going to be a buy me. Not a problem. Roll me. Chocolate the bison. Now we got something going on. Now how about a quick sell me? I think we are going to want a cat out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really want... Well, you know what? I think we could whale this one really quick. And then next time, probably sell the whale, buy a cat, um, and then use food to scale. Although, I'm not totally sold on the efficacy of food this week. I'll tell you what I am sold on. <laughs> Having a fun time. And I'd say that's what's happening right now. Still a very strong team, honestly. Not, nothing to joke about here. Strong enough to live without you? Okay, we made it. So honey would have saved us. So we, had, I, we had the option, too. I don't know why I'm, like, I'm being cute about it. Okay, so you're gone. You're in. And we really need... We need the obvious stuff, you know? We need good scaling foods. This is good enough, I would say. We need more of that, sure. We, I would probably, at this point, I would sell a badger to finesse that. I'm not that worried about another deer, though. This team is pretty good. It's pretty... Why is my badger not at the back? Who forced me to do this? Because it certainly... It wasn't me by myself. That would be outrageous. I'm living, I'm living, I'm losing because I didn't have my badger at the back, and the worst part is I deserved it. Can't argue that I didn't deserve that one. One of these? Not that interested. Very, very interested. Yes, okay. Level two cat, but we gotta get serious about buying food. Like, our margin of safety, our moat is, is dwindling, ever dwindling. Not worried about a level one armadillo. Not concerned. That feels good. That feels fine. It feels acceptable. It feels not like it's going to be a problem. Okay, badger can go. It's, I think even now is still like a nice fail safe, but well, in that case, send it. It could get it getting sniped by a crocodile would suck pretty bad. But apart from that, it's okay. And it's really hard to not take chocolate, so I would go ahead and feed one to a cat because it seems like we got like a long runway ahead of us here. I would say sure. I'm not really worried about a deer at all, quite frankly. No crocodile. The, it, the crocodile is the biggest disruptor. Okay, they have a crocodile. It didn't kill my cat, so there is some positivity there. Enough positivity to be positive about because we came away with the dub. What's your name? Aiden sucks. It's just rude. How about, like we could sell a, yeah, let's do it. Sell a badger, buy a cat, and then go crazy. Go crazy on it. Yeah, I support this. Not interested. Not interested. Uh, okay, freeze me. 
And by freeze me, I mean freeze the things that are not in my shop right now. Yeah, freeze nothing. That's what I meant. When I said freeze, what I meant is freeze nothing. Level 2 lionfish. It's okay, because they're going to use all of their lionfish triggers on my bus. It sucks that it's going to take away my... Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. It sucks because it took away my chili pepper, but we still came through. We still got to get three more wins before two more losses. We don't need a bison. I'm happy with my sushi. Even if it hits the back cat, that's, that's life. Buy a t-shirt. There's a beautiful situation right there. And honestly, 2421, why don't you go ahead and take some melon armor here? I mean, we're, we're scaling quite well. We can be outscaled here, but we're still scaling quite well. We broke a melon armor. We killed you. You did not kill me, which means I kill you, and I kill you. I, I think we're going to 10 here. This is a, a classic build. You know what the real, like, why we got to 10 on this one? And I, we're doing the postmortem before we've won, which is, like, a real mistake. But the reason we're going to get to 10 here is because we got the frilled dragon early, to be honest with you. I would love to say, like, oh, we made a great decision somewhere down the line, but we got so many frilled dragons early. Holy cow, this team is going to eat me alive. <laughs> All that stuff I said about winning, uh, I take it back. Never mind, we're the best team ever. I stick with that. Holy cow. The, the frilled dragons allowed us to not lose early, which means that in the late game, everything is looking hunky-dory, quite frankly. At this stage of the game... Might as well. Might as well. Sometimes people will make the mistake. They'll be like, you know, what is this? <laughs> Maybe it's not a mistake. Hold on. Dude, we could, we could still lose. As much as I thought, like, the last round represented, like, the worst that things could possibly get for me. Oh, my God, we won again. I'm insane. It's the best team I've ever seen. Okay, never mind. No, I think the reason we won that, we, we got the right stuff early, which allowed us to, to invest in scaling later. Beautiful. That's a nice 10 piece. That feels nice. Now, we don't have the same kind of luxury here, but let's, let's invest in some statistical acumen. Maybe we can get a pill bug for next time because, you know, it's more important to get a bird now, I think, because you get the extra attack and then the pill bug gives you half as many or twice as many stats half as often so you can afford to buy it like on the peaks and ignore it on the valleys. We're space trucking around the stars like deep purple. Come on. Come on. Let's go uh, space trucking. Come on. I'll take my draw. We were happy to draw in the very early game last time. We were, Actually, we were happy to lose. So we're ignoring Frill Dragon this time. We're saying so long, my love. Um, and we have to buy a unit and we have to buy some food. I think you just, you treat it like this. And I think the mosquito is probably gone, even though it got the buff. So I'm, ha I'm happy with the way the buffs are shaken out here. Mostly the, the unit I'm most invested in right now, and it's backwards, but is the pill bugs, because we got two of them. And I think that HP scaling is always nice. You just add some meat to that and you're off to the races. Like, like this is a textbook situation right here. Let's take our level. Excuse me. Let's take a bison. Yeah, okay. And, and for now, I think we can do this. And I would not mind adding a second bird. I actually think bird is kind of doing some good stuff this week. Ox is just efficient in and of itself, especially if we get some honey, which we, we have. We love it. I mean, look at this. It's the two-for-one to end all two-for-ones. Team's looking okay. And the rest of this squad is just ballast, you know? They're, they're people on entry-level contracts or league minimums that we can, you know, when they want to raise because we won the Stanley Cup, we just let them walk and we hire somebody else. So why don't you come in here? I would say yes, I would. I would. Okay, we'll probably run this. Nobody's getting pilled today. Not on my watch. I think it's time to add a bat. You know, we add like a utility unit. A unit that does something with its ability. Because stat-wise, everything's okay right now. That is painful, though. <laughs> that, that hurt me a little bit. But no, we're still looking great. Like, this is... We're looking fine. <clears throat> so that's three wins. No losses so far. I'm a big fan of the blobfish. I am. 
I think you gotta go. Add a blobfish. Take a level. A whale that eats a blobfish that spits out a whale. Isn't that something? I don't think it's quite good enough. I think I would rather progress to a level too bad. But it is close enough to good enough that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> and at some point we're gonna want it like that. But for now, I think this is okay. Pill is what we want. So we're gonna get a level too bad, which is, you know, very good. And I'm like, I don't think, oh my God, that ladybug is insane. It's the most insane unit I've ever seen, but the rest of your squad is so bad. It's so, it's detritus. Oh my God, we're gonna win. I'm, I, it feels like I'm sandbagging, but actually I, we've come out with a lot of wins that looked unexpected to begin with here. We're not gonna pill in front of the ox. It's not necessary. Give me the, give me the bat. I'm not sold on an eel. Obviously garlic, not really all that in the bag of potato chips. I would add another bat. And then, honestly, I would add an ox just to have it. I would freeze a pill in the hopes that a blobfish shows up. We're taking a lot of risks here, but the squad is is pogging up, honestly. We just, we have no long-term scaling, which is unfortunate. <laughs> it's like, to say the least, it's, it's way more than unfortunate, but... And hold on, hold on. I know it looked bad. Would it surprise you to find out we win this one too against a, a turbo ox? Kind of amazing. Yes. Thank you so much. Now the bird, maybe I'm not sold on it now. You know what I am sold on? Deer being decent. Now we do have a blobfish. But I, I don't really want to sell anything right now. I would rather just like cucumber an ox and, and see how it shakes out. And I think for the most part, we would rather have the ox closer to the front because it's going to be doing most of the damage for us. We're only two rounds away from chocolate showing up. We've lost zero HP. I'm running the numbers myself and I'm like, I don't think we need to prioritize a blobfish by any stretch. Now this jellyfish is going to cause me some real problems. It still is. Oh my God. I'm sandbagging. I'm actually sandbagging. <laughs> Every team I face, I'm like, this team's going to destroy us. And then I'm like, oops, I won. How did that happen? It's rude. It's insulting. I apologize. Can I, can I try something on you? I almost feel like we're, we're, in, we're poised for a lollipop to make sense on this ox. I don't say that very often. I was also hoping to get something useful. I don't know if that's... I'm, I'm ignoring the whale to keep a bird, which maybe is not right. But I think the ox having way more attack, especially with the cucumber in reserve, makes a lot of sense. Thankfully, it had enough HP. Thankfully, it had enough HP to survive that. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, it's all falling apart. I, I blame our bad for not applying the weakness properly. Roll me. Very nice. Let's start with the deer. We know how well a cat can scale. I think the bird can go. Get a cat out here. We're looking to get some scaling foods. The, the can does work, but we're not pivoting. I know there's two cans. I simply reject. I reject it. I reject it. If you don't agree with the rejection, that's fine. But I reject it, okay? And I, I don't know what I'm doing with my pill bug back there. It's, it, it now also has to go, but that's okay. These are things we can, we can come to terms with them in time. I'm pogging. I'm pogging. Consider me pogged. We're back. Okay. Buy foods, scale like a son of a gun. We got a, a chance at a rare two 10 pieces in one video, in a row. Bat meat, that's still huge. I know we haven't gotten any like food scaling. Tiger can work. It's better. <laughs> it's like a lot better. Um, you could put it behind a deer. You could put it, I'm gonna put it behind a deer by the way, but you could put it behind an ox just as well. Well, maybe not just as well, because then I wouldn't be putting it behind the deer. I'd be putting it behind the ox. But any, long story short, uh, two buses can do some work. That's, that's the whole point here. We could put it behind a bat too, but I, I'm worried about like uh, the replication. You know, we might accidentally get some duplicates we're not that interested in seeing. Either way, look, we're losing. I am rethinking my whole strategy here. We're not on lethal, but I'm, I'm rethinking it all. This is good. 
This is what we wanted. We wanted foods. Not that worried about a snail. We want scaling foods. Why don't you do double damage once and you get slightly stronger? I'm still on the deer meta. Just because we faced a team that made it look bad, I still, I don't think that takes away from it. I think this is still the right way to, okay, the, the bat needed to hit the jellyfish there. I'm insulted, quite frankly. I'm stunned of your greed. If the bat hits the jellyfish, we don't have to worry about that. Now we're on lethal and I look like a fool. I'm here to tell you, this can still pop. It just needs a little support. <laughs> it just needs a little support, okay? It just needs to not lose this one. It can, oh, you're right, our stats are not looking too good, but it can still, just please hit the salamander. Okay, now that you've hit the salamander, if I lose, then the team is constructed badly. That's fair. I can't deny that. But we didn't lose. We drew. <laughs> so it's, it's constructed beautifully. Yes? Not that interested. The order matters here. If, if I may be so bold, I think our big mistake right now is having the tiger where it is. I think we actually should believe in tiger behind bat and if it doesn't work for us at least it had a chance to work it is like a 40 percent chance to add one more weakness that could matter a lot I, assuming i'm doing the probability right and based on today's forkle i'm not totally convinced that i am but i mean this looked a lot better that's not really you know anecdote is not the plural of data but still still what if I can get you to level two? This is also very nice. And at this point, we might as well just purchase a deer. We're, we're kind of... The last one, I was very confident. This one's much more of like a white knuckle situation, but... Help me. Help me. Still pogged. Pogging. I don't think I'm pogging. I'm looking at this. I'm not sold on the on the... The pogination. I think we're drawing, and then just barely. Okay, more more cat scaling. Sure. You probably have a point, but I'm I'm just so food pilled right now. I'm a I'm a crazy food cell, and you're like my best unit. So sure, take a melon armor so you can attack more. I don't know. I'm trying. It's very strong units. I think oh, it, does, it doesn't matter that much, but it may matter more than anything else has ever mattered. Or does it? Hold on. We got to nine, and it's very close. So you're like plus six HP. When you factor in like the cost of a reroll, I think that's worth just taking. That's not. That probably is, honestly. And this is our team. This is where we stand right now. If we're able to go one, like if we draw this round, we'll be happy to add to the squad a little bit, but please. <laughs> it's a fairly strong team. I'm disappointed we did not overwrite um, the shark. The shark is going to be potentially like a, a huge problem. But I'm looking at this now and I'm like, wait a minute, maybe it's not as big of a problem as I thought it was. Maybe it's a drawable situation. Okay, that gives us more time to invest in this food and get us out of a jam. Like, why don't you take this? And then I guess I'm getting a level three ox, which is probably not as good as some foods that we could be receiving, but it's something. It's something. Hang in there. It's another very strong looking team. Always hate to see a 50-50 with melon, but it's not going to have melon, is it? Because you're going to get hit right here. Oh, but then you're going to kill me in a single hit. That's, that's, yeah, we're done. The dream was so close. We were probably like one decision away from making it happen. But either way, a 10 and a 9. I feel great. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See you.